Right, so that's now day six complete. And I've got to say, I think I'm noticing an improvement. So this morning I woke up and I realized something. Pretty much since I arrived, I've not needed to get up in the night to go have a wee. Now, this might be too much information, so forgive me. But for years, since I've had this abdominal problem, I've had to get up most every night, at least once in the night to go and wee. Now, I've always put this down to um, abdominal distension, applying pressure to the bladder. Also though, because I've had malignant hypertension, I take a whole load of different medications. One of which is a diuretic, indapamide, which is a long acting um, drug that actually pumps out sodium rather than a diuretic to lose water. Now that has an effect 24 hours a day. So I've kind of attributed it to that as well. However, since, actually I don't know how many days now, I really didn't realize this morning, for the first time in just forever, I'm actually sleeping through the night without any need to get up. And that's quite new. The other thing that happened this morning, this is what I really noticed. I actually woke up feeling refreshed. I woke up feeling, oh my goodness, I'm alive. I've not had that experience for so long. I can't even begin to tell you. I had forgotten, well, I hadn't actually forgotten, but I recognized that for so long now, waking up in the morning, I typically wake up feeling exhausted. And um, that's been a normal thing for me. And then get up and start my day and just, you know, just go about my day. This morning I actually woke up feeling good and that's unusual. The reaction I had on Friday, spoke to the clinic about it today through um, really their second language. Obviously I don't speak Slovakian. And so they, under, you know, in the best that was possible within the limits of communication. Essentially what they were saying was it's not entirely uncommon for people to have an immune response um, to some of the implantations. Today's was actually easy. I had no particular reaction whatsoever. Um, I've had to basically stay in the room for a couple of hours to retain it. And then obviously nature takes its course and out the remnants comes. So I think that's all really to report. One other thing though, just worth noting, the nutbaggery on the forums. Yeah, the uh, FMT forums. A lot of drama there, really. Um, just be aware, and the other thing is this morning when I checked my messages, I had a message, someone's doxing me online. That's all now removed, had that removed quite quickly. Why? Well, who knows? Absolute bonkers. I think, I always thought the NLP community was a little bit too full of drama. I wouldn't have thought there would even be an FMT community. I mean, seriously. I understand there's people who work in the field, there's the people who do the research, all that kind of stuff, and there's, there's people who are, I guess, hobbyists. I understand that, people have an interest in different things of anatomy and medicine and science. But for a community to build up around what is really a fairly straightforward medical procedure and area of research, I find very peculiar. And some of the personalities who frequent that clearly are very unstable. Just wanted to throw that in there for two reasons. One is I know it will stir them up and they'll get more views as they share it around the forums. Always good for the YouTube algorithm, plus also a little bit of controversy. Always helps on YouTube. I'll see you tomorrow for the next update. Hopefully, I'll still have a smile on my face. We'll see.